In the Kingdom of Babylon around the year 600 BC, an outstanding work of architecture could be found, which would be known as the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Its edification was motivated by the love of King Nebuchadnezzar II for the princess Amidas of Medea. The Babylonian king had unified the kingdoms of Babylon and Medea, and after achieving his conquests, he returned home with Princess Amidas as his wife. Some accounts affirm that Amidas missed the mountains of Medea, which were covered by the most beautiful plants. But Babylon was a great plain, and its horizon was rather dull. Noticing his queen's dismayed nostalgia, the Babylonian king ordered the construction of an outstanding work of engineering. The great building then started, and a great pyramid of steps was edified, in which terraces were supported by beautiful columns. These terraces had an endless array of plants from everywhere. The garden was full of fruit trees and flowers of all colors. That construction was a source of amazement for all those who visited the capital of the Babylonian Empire and Princess Amidas, while contemplating such a marvelous garden built by her husband, could feel her native land once more. Such a luxurious effort was only possible due to the economic power of the Kingdom of Babylon, which was the wealthiest nation of its era. Although several historical accounts confirm the existence of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, the subject is still controversial due to the lack of Babylonian documents that prove its existence and also the lack of archaeological findings. Little is known about what dictated the end of the imposing gardens. The number one hypothesis is earthquakes. Although this great work has vanished, the story of the beautiful hanging gardens, the fruit of the love between the king of Babylon and his queen, is still part of the folklore of current and future generations.